Hello everybody and welcome back to the Boogeyman. Last time we left off we were just about to enter the final boss room and fight the Boogeyman obviously. And so we're going to be continuing that right now. See before... Before when we played this we had to... Uh, we left through this way and this gate was closed. And so we had to walk back around, but during that scene, the uh, game had a little Helena thing. We, we all saw it. It was lovely. Lots of fun. And so now I gotta defeat the Boogeyman again. Probably gonna take a couple of attempts. If it's anything like the last boss battle, it's gonna take a couple of attempts. But I think I will do it, get it done faster than I did before. <laughs> Wait, Dad? Oh, this wasn't here before. Leave the door open. And don't turn the light out the lights in the hall. Oh, is he scared of the boogeyman? Why? The boogeyman will come, yep. Scared of the boogeyman. What kind of guy is the boogeyman? He has long nails and kidnaps kids. He lives in the closet. Ooh, he does know he has long nails. A kidnapper. Well, can't leave that guy like that on the loose. So this thing wasn't here before, so it's already feeling better. Alright, Dad. I'll get alright, Dad'll give him a good beating. Sweet. Dad's gonna be some ass. Hey Boogie, you in there? What the Hey, let go! Ah, he's fucking with him. Right. Dad? He's messing with him, right? Dad! Whew, he was a little tough, but I got him good. Oh, and I skipped it. No worries, son. I saw the top, but I didn't see the bottom. Really? Would I lie? Me and Mom are in the bedroom right there, you know. You still scared? I'm not scared. Oh, you need your stuffed bunny, do you? Or should I read you a bedtime story? Maybe the one with the fairies. <laughs> no way, I'm not a wuss, Dad. I can sleep by myself. That's the spirit. Yippee! Listen, Todd, if the boogeyman comes to get you again, Dad'll beat him up. I'm not gonna let anyone mess with you or Mom. Hell yeah. Cause you're a police officer? Cause I'm Dad. Nice, son. That's good, yeah. That's lovely. Should I leave the light on? It's okay. I've got you and Mom. Good night. I love you. Okay, this is lovely. I love this game so much. It is fantastic. Okay, oop, time to fight the big man. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. This wasn't here before. Blame it on the boogie! <laughs> that was nice. Have you ever thought about it, detective? Thought you have an enemy. Who or what is this? You don't even know. Maybe it doesn't even exist. Maybe it's all in your head. But, you know there's something tormenting you. Always making it so painful. You feel like the whole world's out to make you suffer. Too troublesome to make an enemy out of the whole world, right? So, just making one enemy will do. I chose you as my enemy. Have I become yours? Oh well, either way, we're gonna settle this right here. Hell yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass, buddy. Ooh, he's got the sword. Let's end this wonderful game now. Can you beat this final boss and take back your beloved wife? Yes. Huh? What's going on? I'm laughing, what? <laughs> Why am I laughing? What's so funny? I'm confused now. Why am I laughing? Boy, you're really having a blast, huh? What's so funny that you can be smiles all the time? Total opposite of me. I don't even remember the last time I laughed. But I guess we were pretty similar after all. In the sense that it was all a lie. Okay. You're always grinning ear to ear, but you're scared, aren't you? So you keep running. You can't go head to head with me. Oh. You and me are just acting. You're no scary monster, and I'm no paragon of justice. Well, that's nice. Final boss. Ha! 
A big baddie should be pretty sly guy, shouldn't it? They're taking hostages, always on the run. The only thing you can chase after is girls' rumps. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. You know, I wasn't planning on doing anything to you. As long as the others were safe, I was fine leaving you be. I'd secure your hostages and scram. Then just leave you to the local police. Well, I mean, that's... Because I'm not chasing you. You just keep running from me. Yeah. What I'm really chasing after. Sorry, but it ain't you. <laughs> okay, then. That's right. It's not you. You're my enemy. Spare me the sleep talk. Why would I make my enemy a dunce who just sneaks away? A coward who hides in the closet and threatens kids. And my enemy. Not me either. You got a lot more enemies. If you go to the slammer, you're gonna be a real popular guy, I can tell. Oh, the knuckle crack. <laughs> yes, let's go. Well, this is a great chance. No hostages to get in the way. No one watching. So I can do whatever I like to with you. Ooh, can beat his ass. Detective, criminal, that doesn't matter now. You've done the number one thing to get on my bad side. You chased after my wife's rump. <laughs> now you beat up my wife. Now you made her bleed or scared. No, you chased after that booty. I gotta beat your ass. Uh, that's great. That alone is enough reason for me to beat you down. Don't you think, boogie? Ooh, he's backing up. I scared him. Oh, what the fuck? What is that noise? Oh, God, that noise is... What the fuck happened to your face? Can't afford to laugh anymore, can you? What happened to your face? Do I actually have... Am I gonna have to fight him, or is it just gonna do it for me? Back to your closet, boogeyman. I don't know if I actually have to fight him or not. You don't have what it takes to make it over here. Okay, I do have to find him. Thank ass cheeks it gave me a save. Okay. We're going to save right here. Lindva. Okay, I hope this isn't too long, because Jesus, this is going to take a while. I'm probably going to die a lot. Okay, well. Yes, I beat his ass! What, no? I was looking at the wrong health bar. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. The whole time I was looking at my health bar, I thought it was his health bar, and I... Congrats! <laughs> you fucking suck! Oh, I suck so bad! Okay, I can beat him from a distance, so I don't have to worry about... Boom, I beat him. That time it was me who won, not him. Okay, what's the ending? Ooh, I can't wait. Where do you think you're going, Lance? I'm gonna find him. They've been gone way too long. Did you forget what Keith said? It'll be a burden on him to move around on our own. Well, then after all is said and done, we'll tell him we did just what he said. Of course, you might have gone stone cold by that time. Don't joke about things like that. Sounds like a joke to you? Uh, we've got two, maybe three corpses around here. Let's, let me count real quick, let's see. One, two, three. There's four, five, six. I think there's like seven corpses? <laughs> there's a lot of dead guys. What part of don't, don't you get? So stop you two, don't fight. Meanwhile, Rich oh, there we go. We'll go search together. Richard, you of all people should know that's a bad idea. Do you remember how your daughter Sophie decided, I'm going to go save the day by myself. And then I had to go save her ass. Remember that? Yeah. And yet your, your dumb ass is endorsing this. Oh my god. <laughs> this is bad. I'll lead the way. Sophie and Shirley, you hold hands. And Lance, you watch the rear. P Papa, you really want to go? Yes, we'll be alright together. And there's something I'm curious about. What's that? 
This whole incident may just be a great big farce. What do you mean? Let's be going. What are you talking about a farce? How could this be a farce? What? I'm very confused. Helena! Helena! Where are you, Helena? Okay. David? Huh? Back here. Oh! Helena, you're here! Ooh, that's an ouchie. Helena! David! Is she tied up? Dude, is she climbing up the ladder tied up? Holy shit, she's a boss! <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay? We probably couldn't have found this. Uh, I, the whole man, that man knocked me out. I woke up here. I was unconscious the whole time. I wonder if we could have found this room. Keith! Keith's fine, I'm sure. Helena! This time I didn't get, this time I didn't get my stomach slid open by the boogeyman. Keith, where are you? Oh, so I beat the boogeyman. Who is he? I want to know who he is. I was told that you get to see who he is at the... You better not slate... <laughs> the marijuana addicts. <laughs> you don't get it to... Okay, well, thank you for that quick thing. Um, You better not... You shouldn't slate my stomach open. I'm supposed to know who he is Uh, with the good ending, which this is. Uh, anyway, always on the run, huh? The marijuana addicts can move better than you. <laughs> I love whoever wrote this dialogue. Yuri, what's in that big head of yours? What is it? Ooh, the slow reveal. What? What? Brendan? What? How is it Brendan? I watched him die. You lose. Fuck no, I don't lose. David, get in here and kill him. Detective. How's it you? I saw your body hanging next to somebody. Oh! <gasps> Did he stab me? He wasn't supposed to stab me! This is bullshit! Keith! This is some bull- Fuck yeah, beat his ass! You- You're Brendan? Why? Cause he's a bag of dicks. Stop moving around. Hell yeah, everyone else is here. Keith, Helena! Somebody, saved by bleeding. Wait, wasn't Shirley a nurse or something? Lance! Richard, help me out. So, Sophie, find something to tie him with. Yeah, go get that rope that I used to go down and get the videotape. Keith! I swear, he better not die. I'll be pissed. This is supposed to be the good ending. Got you. <laughs> Keith, you? Helena, when we get home, let's finish our conversation. I'm so confused. How was it Brendan? I saw him standing next to Brendan when Brendan's fucking head exploded. No more running. I remember this from like the- I think it was the second part. No! Keith! Stay with me! Please! Keith! I better not die. I'll be pissed if I die. This is supposed to be the happy ending. <laughs> Am I getting explanations of what just- what the hell was going on? The servants of CB. Ten people died all told. Ten? Jesus, I counted seven. And that was including Brendan. I was counting off. <laughs> I'm sure glad to be alive now. Feeling glad to even have air to breathe. Listen, don't you say a word about all this, especially not to your co-workers. If it takes money to shut your yap, I'll pay any price. Whoa, ho, ho, bribery, where's that money coming from? My own pockets. Listen, you guys can distort the truth all you want, and I won't say a peep, because that's freedom of the press. But this, this is different. I've got no tolerance for people pointing and laughing at a wounded friend. Do I gotta tell you again? I'm not a gossip guy. I hate cops, sure, but I hate gossip too. I won't ask money, and I won't say a peep, because I'm grateful to the guy. So quit hounding me. Wait, why do you hate cops? But, as an involved party, I've got a right to know what happened here. Just can't wrap my head around it. I would like to know what happened too. Dick, will you explain it all away? I talked to Brandon at dinner. Heard he got tired of the musty old castle and ran to Hollywood. Had a lot of fun in the movie biz. So what was the motive? Guy's gone silent. Sounds like he convinced you he was goody two-shoes, but I bet you'd hear a different story in Hollywood. Now that's the kind of thing your lot should be writing about. Nobody knows people's pasts, usually, but it's easy to fool you into thinking otherwise with a little acting. 
And once you get to know somebody's past, you can lead him by the nose. He tricked you all and tried to kill you. What a farce. Not sure of the motive part yet, but he was pretty systematic about it all. He spent a ton of cash beforehand to check up on all the tour attendees. He even did a background check on me. On you? Why? Because I was going to be on that tour. No wonder. I thought he knew me. The hell? So he just researched us? That's the oldest trick in the book for us. Saying, I know all about you, makes you superior to the other person so you can control them. Then they freaked out and have to submit. He knew that tactic well. Seeing right through people without any tricks, that's what makes a real monster, ain't it? In his case, he just used money and connections to dig up people's pasts and played the part of a monster. But the research wasn't to select the candidates, so he just picked randomly. Damn, was he just in it for fun? Now my turn to ask questions. What you tell me is the only way I can figure out this incident. Give me anything you got. First, Brendan, or Boogie, rather. What kind of man was he? How should I say it? I suppose he had no emotion. That's how I saw him. He said such terrifying things without a care. He hardly showed any human feelings. He really was like a monster. Keith told me he was a real jester. Jester? Absolutely not. I would have much preferred it if he were at least a little silly. He was a very disturbing, terrifying man. He was totally calm as he did awful things. Well, he wasn't just calm, he was laughing the whole time. He was like, ha 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 Richard, you seem to have a suspicion that he might be Brendan. Why did you think that? I thought so too until, you know, he freaking, his head exploded. When my daughter went missing, and I panicked thinking that man might have taken her, Keith told me something. This was the kind of person who would show corpses as a decoration. So if he did it, take Sophie, he'd show proof of it, meaning she was still safe. Luckily enough, I didn't see them. But indeed, evidently there were many dead bodies left around. As Keith said, my daughter hadn't fallen into his grasp. He was correct in his assumption. That made me realize something unusual about what he'd said. Keith said he saw the moment Brandon's neck snapped and his corpse was quickly dropped into the basement. Isn't that odd? Why did he put Brandon's corpse out of sight? Why did he treat him differently than the other victims? Because he didn't want you investigating it. That's some keen insight you got there. So you suspected this was a farce plotted by Brendan? No, well, I just suggested that since Keith hadn't checked the corpse, he might still be alive. I only wanted to believe that there was a chance he was alive. I had no conviction about the rest. So, okay, so... I guess I can believe that Brendan, when he got dropped down the hole, um, somehow, when he got his head exploded and dropped down the hole, he somehow survived that? But who was the other guy pretending to be the boogeyman then? I'm so confused. <laughs> so I didn't speak about it to Keith. I didn't dare risk throwing him off in with my amateur opinion. Not to mention, we didn't know whether his wife was safe. Apparently, Keith saw the moment Brendan's head came off, actually. Was it a doll? Where you are, packed with neat little blood packs, it seems. Brendan was hung upside down and had his mouth taped up. It was dark enough to be hard to tell who was who. Just dressing up the same way made Keith assume it was him. Ah, uh, okay. But I got a pretty good clue, so it looked like a person. I mean, whatevs. On top of all those flashy rave lights, he dropped the corpse down below, so it was impossible to check it closer. And since, and since Keith saw the tour conductor killed right after that, of course you'd think Brendan was killed, too. If I'd said something, this could have been resolved sooner, but I was paralyzed with fear. I was only worried about my daughter. Even when Keith was running all over the place for us. Well, I'm pretty sure Keith, I'm going to be fine because I'm Keith. Um, yeah, see, I am alive right there. It says it. So nobody else died, so who cares? Don't worry about it. Keith did all that because he wanted to. That's all. He's deeply glad you're all safe. Now, little lady, can we hear from you too? Hear what? Anything. What you thought, what you noticed. Well, I knew he was a fake, because I've met the real boogeyman. Sophie, stop it. Not this tale again. Sophie, stop it. Not this tale again. Fine, if you say so, Papa. 
Guess I'm not saying a word. Go ahead, please. Meeting the real boogeyman sounds pretty juicy. Can you tell me more? Maybe not really met. He just touched my. He just touched my soul. He just touched my shoulder, but his hand was cold as ice. Right away, I knew it wasn't human. That guy's hands were human, though. They had warmth, so I knew he was just a regular guy. Ha! Huh, so the boogeyman's hands are cold, huh? I ought to tell that to my little squirts. Anything else you noticed? I feel like you might get angry if I say this. I won't. Tell me. That guy had this cold, cold and emotionless air. Like you couldn't tell what he was thinking at all. It reminded me of Mr. Keith a little. You still think that way now? Not even, because Mr. Keith got really mad at me. He was like, don't worry your papa ever again. Red paint on his face? There was nothing like that. It was all red from blood spurts, though. Really? Keith told me he had a weird paint. He had weird paint on a torn paper bag. And one more thing. Did you see any red graffiti in the castle or hear... Or any monsters? Hear any phones ringing? No, I didn't. Mr. Hoover, you're colorblind, if I recall. Maybe you couldn't just couldn't see the paint. Yeah, but it's white and pink I get mixed up. I can see red just fine. Uh, and you, miss? I saw quite a bit of the castle, but none of that. Did you hear that from the others? Don't get me wrong, I don't think you're lying. The others said they saw nothing, too. But then, that makes Keith the one talking nonsense. I don't think Keith is necessarily lying. What do you mean? Because people don't always see the same things you do. Hmm? Thanks for the assistance, you two. Sorry about calling you in two weeks after the fact. Is not everything settled yet? The police there are in the middle of their investigation. My role is just to assist. I'm going to report your testimonies to them, and that's that. I'll be off now. Eric, take them to the entrance. When our son died, I thought my life was over too. I couldn't think about anything. Nothing had any taste. But tears would suddenly come away. Would suddenly come anyway. I'm a stupid. I don't remember anything about what I did back then, but I do remember one thing. That Keith was always at my side. When I wailed and shouted, he'd hug me, stroke my hair, and say it was okay. Oh, that's Dick. Eventually, I adjusted to life without our son. I found I could laugh again. But when I got my own emotions back, I realized Keith had stopped laughing. I had been broken, and so had Keith. Over time, I was able to heal, but he didn't. He was still stuck in the moment of Todd's death. He was always supporting me, so he never faced up to himself. I struggled to be at least a little stronger. Next time, I would protect him, since I wanted him to laugh again. But I couldn't. Eh, I couldn't repay anything to Keith. And I realized I was a burden on him that would keep him from ever walking again. So, even if we're far apart, as long as he can laugh again, then that's the best choice I can make. My wife always brings me warm milk before I go to bed. And last Father's Day, my little squirt tried cooking me a meal. I definitely don't need milk to go to sleep and the kids cooking, but I'll be blunt. It ain't good. But I'm glad for it. Usefulness and collateral don't mean a thing with this stuff. Keith didn't stay close to you expecting something in return. That's just what he wanted to do. You guys have too got too much sympathy. You don't mind getting hurt for the sake of the other. But can't you notice you, that one of you being hurt hurts the other? You've just been getting wound, more and more wounded as you go along. You can, you're propping Keith up too, Helena. 
He can fight day after day because he knows you're waiting at home, as much as I tease him about it. Don't think of yourself as baggage. Depend on him as much as you need. That's what he wants, too. Keith grabbed my hand and smiled, even though he was stabbed and wounded. And what did he say? Got you. Because he finally got what makes him the happiest. But man, too much discrepancy between you guys, between your guys' testimony and Keith's. Just how am I going to report this to their department? Hey, Helena. He went back home from the hospital today, right? Can I talk with him now? I'm sorry. Before he goes back home, there's a place he's going to visit. And I'm planning to head there myself. What is it? Is it the son's grave? It is! I wonder if it's near Duke's grave. Is this the same cemetery where Duke is buried? Keith. Aw, he's sad. I always wanted to cry like this. I never forgot about him. Not for a single day. Oh no. Ever since he died I was scared. I felt like even the slightest sign of weakness would make it all crumble. I acted like I felt nothing. Like nothing disturbed me. I thought then I might be able to fool everyone. Even myself. It was so stupid. I was broken a long time ago. It was all garbage, but I acted like a champion of justice. It always felt off. Whoever I was working for, I never felt repaid. And when I saw you were safe, and you came up to me, finally I felt happy again. Acting strong just made me weak. It was pointless. Todd would never forgive his father staying broken forever, because I promised to protect his mom. I'll take off the blindfold. I'm gonna laugh, even if it's at a stupid TV show. If I'm pissed, I'll get mad, and if I'm sad, I'll cry. First, I guess there'll have to be counseling. Something seriously wrong with my head, seems like. It's gonna be a busy time. It's gonna be so busy. I won't be able to do it alone. Helena, I don't think I can deal with just being a good loser. I want a chance. Let me chase after you. Let me get down on my knees. You're the only one I want waiting for me. There's no need for a chance, didn't I tell you? Divorce or decide? I've decided. Haven't you too? All hugs! Hugs are good! We only ever have one umbrella. So we hold it together. And it's fine if we get a little wet because it'll be soon it'll soon be sunny again. Happy ending. Come rain, come shine. Well that was fantastic. Okay, here we go. Oh, is there actually Oh these are the voice actors who I heard, like, once in the game. There might be something wrong with my game, because it seems like... I don't see why they would put in a whole credit for voice actors if they didn't actually do more than just one line. Yeah, I probably have the wrong version, but oh well. Instead, you got to hear my wonderful voice acting. Pretty beautiful, I must say. Uh, that is a fabulous name. Anyway, uh... Manly Badass Hero. That is fucking great. That, that is awesome. I love that name. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos I made, go ahead and just check playlists down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And there's something else, guys. Oh, okay. Congratulations on beating the Boogeyman. And thank you for playing this game. Additionally... So, if you played the previous two games in the series.
The Whatever Man series has come to a turning point. The Generous storyline will end in the next game. I have plans for serious and silly extra chapters afterward, so please play those if you're interested. Lastly, once more, congratulations on beating the game, and thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making it. Oh, nice little, uh... Okay, so that's a preview. What are you? What are you doing? What the heck was that? Okay, I was not expecting... We'll watch the preview. Why not, guys? Let's watch it together. It's gonna be a reaction video and an ending video. With the support of VG person. Oh, that's the person who made the walkthrough. Guess I got the official one, huh? And many other assistants. I will leave the walkthrough down in the description below, by the way, guys. Ooh. Oh, this is fabulous. How's oh, a dog? I actually didn't know that there was a whole fuck that there was a whole series. There's one other game that's out right now. That's called the Sandman. Apparently, I was supposed to play it before this, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. Since when do I play games in order? So that's we're definitely gonna play that coming up, and this is the next the next and last game in the series. It's called the Hangman, I believe. It's supposed to be fully voice acted as well. So, if we do play that, looks like I won't be able to make all my beautiful voices for the character. Yep, there it is, the Hanged Man. Sounds a lot like the Crooks Man. Ooh, okay, I'll be quiet now. Oh, okay. What is it? Okay, now we have this book, which is, uh... Oh, we can do character bios. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna... I don't have a lot of time left in the video, but I don't want to cut it for... Dig a whole new video for just character bios, so... I'll leave this on here. You guys can read it. Pause and read if you want. It's interesting how they put the blood type, too. That's funny. Oh, I didn't know this, but this girl is the Sandman's heroine. Damn it, I was supposed to play the Sandman first. I would have recognized her. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, does that mean that, uh... That might mean that Keith and the other two are gonna show up... Ah. <laughs> Often fights with David. Well, that's nice. Okay. Does that mean that Keith, David, and Sophie are going to show up for... What you call it? The Hanged Man? Because based on the other games, it looks like they're collecting... The person who's the hero in the old game is showing up in the next game. He was running around he died. <laughs> well, that sucks. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what the hell this thing is. What are you? Uh, that looks like it's it, so... Hit again. What the hell? It's got two eyeballs now. What? What? What the hell? Watch bonus scene. Fuck yeah, I'll watch a bonus scene. Well, look at that, guys. I found you guys a bonus scene. Oh. Okay. How many times do we have to come here again? Oh, five, I think. What is this? Oh, I can't stand it. We've told them the same story over and over. There's gonna be rumors at school about Sophie frequenting the police station. Oh, is this the wife? Now, Sophie, don't complain. The police are doing their best. Wait, I'm confused. Why did she refer to herself in the third person? And it's been almost a month now. This must be the last time. I'm sure of it. I found a bonus scene, guys. Does my princess require a beverage to quell her temper? What shall it be, your majesty? Orange juice. Very well, I'll go buy some. I found a bonus scene, guys. Thanks. I thought I was gonna end the episode, but nope. Bonus scene. 
Hey, when those dogs attacked me, you saved me, right? I can't imagine any other reason why those dogs would fall asleep so quickly. What? What the hell is that? Is that a reference from the Sandman? Because I'm not going to get it. I'm having a great time lately. Getting along great with Papa and Anne and Regan. Well, if she wants to get along, I'll give her a chance. Things are so much better than when I carried all my burden myself. Now I know there's always someone looking out for me. Sometimes I really miss you. You're doing okay, right? How about the other fairies? Fairies? Damn it, somebody told me I didn't have to play the Sandman to understand this, but I do. <laughs> if you guys have seen the Sandman or played it, you'll get this. I won't. I will get the reference later when I beat the Sandman. You know, I... So that's a fairy? Is that Keith? Keith's just like, yo. What's up with them floating eyeballs, bruh? <laughs> Sorry to butt in. Wow, hold on, wait! Her face is all red. You got the wrong idea. I'm not a weirdo or anything, okay? Don't touch me, brats. With a thing for daydreaming, aren't the most comfortable people to run around. Hey, Keith's all right. I'm not daydreaming. Okay, so she's the only one who can see the fairies. Keep it between us, but I've met some, some fairies. Ah, parents, fairy, ah, parents. And I just got copyrighted. Hmm. <laughs> so you don't believe me? No, I do. I met one when I was a kid, too. Really? Yes, Hobo in the area always had a head full of dandruff. So I called him the dandruff fairy. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, yeah, and I've got a coworker who eats nonstop cup noodles. The, coon, the, the, the cup noodle fairy. Want to be introduced? You're a dick. Why won't you believe me? A 37-year-old who believes in fairies ain't exactly socially adjusted, don't you think? But hey, if they do exist, put in a request to one of your fairy friends to get me some wings. Big, fluffy pink ones. What'd you use those for? Just want some wings, why not? Mr. Detective wanna fly away. What the fuck? Oh, uh, that's great. Watch Key suddenly get some fairy wings starts floating into the sky. Huh, you angry? Ooh, better step off. One of your friends may cast a spell, turn me into a fluffy white kitty. What is this? Maybe instead of filling your head with stupid fantasies, fill in that chest a little. It's so pathetic that I can't even look at it. Did he just insult her boobs? Oh, sudden voice acting. What is this? What's wrong? I'm so confused. I haven't been able to sleep since last night, even though I'm sleepy. It's weird. Oh god, how long is this bonus scene? I'm way over time, and I... Did you take any medicine? Yeah, and... Sleeping pills. Guess they're not working. How long is this bonus scene? Let's talk to each other, then. Before you know it, you'll be sound asleep, and it'll be morning. I'm gonna have to split this episode, god damn it. <laughs> don't you need to sleep? You don't have to stay up for me. It's fine. I'll stay with you until you're snoozing away. If this goes on much longer, I'm going to have to split the episodes. I'm going to have to split this whole video in half. It's going to be lovely. Maybe some exercise would have been better. Did they bang? They banged. Yes! Okay. Okay, that was the bonus scene. I didn't know that was there, but it's there. Wait, can I catch him again? I'm not going to watch it. I think it's just the same thing. Well, that was great. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was the Boogie Man. Uh, good ending. You guys can go ahead and play it for yourself. It's a fantastic game. Very fun to play. Uh, you got any games you want me to play? Leave them down in the comments below. I'll see what I can do about it. And thank you guys so much for watching again. And I'll see you guys in the next video.